uh, when they do come out in their names. But yeah, we actually got a peach coming out from uh, the Superior. And so Korean main, is he solo main Pikachu? Uh, he has a fox, he has a fox. wolf, he also has a Pikachu. He's been talking about it on his Twitter, how his Pikachu's been doing really good in friendlies. So I feel like he has a lot of confidence in Pikachu right now. Well, I guess no one solo mains like anyone in this game because, I mean, there's oh, so e 70 characters to... Well, e Sam yeah, with being the exception, but usually everyone has about three characters for this game because there's just so many matchups. Um, but yeah, Pichu also getting that grab buff in the latest patch as well. He got uh, some good buffs, and yeah, he's just one of those... I feel like he's a better Pichu oh, now. Oh, no, and he tried to go for a landing. I feel like Superior might have been going for a dare. But the kind of cost him to just get hit by the fourth match. Did he lose the stock with great DI? Oof. Not fair, though. Still is crazy, ridiculous knockback. Super strong. But yeah, that needed to be touched for sure. Uh, Peach is bomber as well. I know that has uh, less knockback as well on it. Actually, um, yes. And not only that, it's it's still, it's not that bad. It's you not can, as strong. Yeah, but it's, it's one of those moves like... You're still going to be able to be a little bit safe on shield because of the shield bounce that you get on it too as well. So, it's like you mentioned earlier, the, the, the Peach and the Daisy buffs, I'm sorry, Nurse, not that bad. In not my opinion. Not that bad. I think they were needed. I think the one thing that a lot of people were complaining about was her back throw. Yeah. Uh, that they were like, why? And forward air killing you at like anything from AD. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah. Uh, forward, I'm sorry, forward air, that needed to be touched for sure. Yeah. She kind of got the right nurse if you think about it. But unfortunately, yeah. hopefully Korean gets the right place. Because so far, it's even stocks. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job of just trying to take the air to air to against the superior. And he kind of knows, like, okay, what what I should be going for. He tried to come in with a neutral air and he lands it with the up to. He gets some great percent. He gets some good up air juggles as well. And yeah, if we could talk about Pichu's nair there. So fast. Great move. Um... And it has a lot of options to follow up, kind of like that too, with that up up tilt, yeah. drop down, um, nair to up tilt, up air, up air, which is a really nice combo. We like uh, it's coming out from Peach Pikachu. I always want to say Pichu now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of one of those things, right? Like people have predicted that eventually maybe Pikachu will come out on top between Pikachu and Pichu, and that kind of still shows signs of life here. I mean, Pikachu in the long run is a little bit more consistent, not yeah. as light as Pichu. And still has great kill power and great move on ability. So. Does it self sustain damage? Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think uh, Pikachu just might be the better Pikachu now. A lot of people are you know, Void, Drop Pichu. Um, not seeing as many Pichus in the tournament today as well. Yeah. Which is not too many out there in top eight. And, <laughs> and not only that, Void did mention that he was going to drop the character for sure. So. Yeah. But that's all right. Nice, good up tilt. Got great range, even able to hit in front of Pichu and the dash attack, sensing out Superior's defensive option to go back to the ledge. I'd like to see the range, um, like on that move, and or like his tail too. Is uh, are you familiar with his tail having a bit of a disjoint or? Whoa! <laughs> the crowd. The crowd oh is told only by himself in the background. <laughs> Uh, so they, oh my gosh, yeah, pulling a Saturn here. It'd be a, a scary situation, always having Saturn out on the stage. Yeah, causes um, shield breaks. Yeah, okay, just going to throw it off the stage, though. But yeah, it's honestly, I've seen Peach draw, uh, pull out Bomb, Saturn, and um, like Stitch Face. Yeah, usually the, the best of the three. And of course, the <laughs> Dot Face is also another strong one. Oh, Dot Eyes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. They're like, I don't even know. Like, it, is there like, is it just all random, or is there some it, type it, of it like, is, percentage? It is, all, it is all random. Yeah. yeah. Each one is all based on RNG. Um, typically, if you see a lot of Peach mains pull out Saturn, they usually merely want to get rid of it right away because if yeah. your opponent also grabs it, they can also break your shield. Okay. Yeah. Good. Strong dash attack as well. That move is great. Some great options. Ooh. Grab yourself a beer. Z Fi looks. Sounds about good right now. Having a cold, <laughs> refreshing beer sounds pretty good. Probably be a good one. Ooh. Okay, good. Getting that grab. Going to do that forward throw. Put him um, in an offstage situation. Is he going to do any do a proper ledge guard here? Yeah, yes. All right. Yeah, we're going to see that fair take out the stock there uh, by Korean. That was a great job. Yeah, definitely just throw Peach off stage, get her in that situation where she's vulnerable. Oh! See everybody in the background yeah. talking. 
Naomi's up. We got a uh, Sedgehog's girlfriend too, I believe. We got Toki there. Yeah. Yeah, we got Tof, Sedgehog, K. A lot of good people out here having fun, but of course, we hope we hope you guys are all having fun back oh, yeah. watching and joining us for yeah. what is going on as Korean is up 1-0 against Superior. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in too. This yeah. is definitely, um, you know, these events do last the big majority of the day, so it also can be a lot to invest in. Tune in uh, to these streams for a big majority of the day, too, hours at a time. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, we want to make this an enjoyable experience for you guys. And, yeah, we're just going to bring it back here to Korean and uh, the Superior now playing on uh, Kalos again, the stage we've been seeing quite a lot today. Yeah. He's definitely not feeling as superior as his tag would lead it out <laughs> to, but Korean kind of knows what, how to dissect an opponent, how to dissect a character. So he knows a thing or two about mm -hmm. competing with top characters and not only that, top players. Yeah. Uh, he's able to coach boy. All right, we got that quick attack move, though, coming out super fast, and it actually damages the opponent as well. Oh, okay. I was going to say, watch the neutral get up or the roll get up. I kind of let Superior know. Okay, I mixed up my recovery right, and next time I have to be careful how I recover as well. You have about five options. You have shield get up, jump get up, roll get up, and neutral get up, and attack get up. You want to make sure you utilize those wow. with the right opportunities. Down throw, back air, oh. and then fair. Yeah. That was... Crazy damage, and then getting the F smash kill. What the heck? That was yeah, I got the golf club and be able to send Korean straight off oh, only to meet the blast zone. Yeah, golf club's all about the range there. No pans about the damage output, and then in between you have the tennis racket that kind of has that like neutral. Yeah. Uh, not it's got a, it's got a wind box as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has a slight wind box. Forgot about that. <laughs> wow. I do respect the fact that he tried to go to the ledge and then see what he could get up a whip punish, but Korean was really quick on the draw and he got the dash attack. Yeah, that dash attack, attack almost killing too. Pikachu having no rage, super strong. Oh yeah, Peach is gonna keep on um, throwing out these turnips, so it's definitely a great tool that Peach has. Definitely never know when you're gonna pull out <laughs> anything. She's just ridiculous. She's one of those characters too that just like she's really technical, but mm -hmm. her movement and like, the way her moves connect is just so scary. She's a really terrifying character. And I know her and Peach, um, or, excuse me, her and Daisy, I know there was a few differences before, but they pretty much made them, uh, the same yeah. now, right? They kind of, like, fixed the whole, like, turn up. Yeah. In reality, it's just, if the Echo Fire is more of an Echo costume, some would say. Mm -hmm. But they're able to clutch that one in Korean only with 67%. Okay, nice nair there. Okay, <laughs> nice. Now the superior kind of spacing himself out. There's the back air. Korean looking to make the catch-up game. Another back How air many? out of shield, really good. How many hits does that back air have? I do believe it is uh, three. Yeah, I, I believe it's like three to four. <laughs> Oof. And now Superior has slowly brought this back into his favor. Kind of letting Korean know, hey, hold on, man. First game, I'll give you the W, but this one, I'm going to take it onto myself. Korean and looked mad. Did yeah. you see that? He rolled his eyes. I like, was kind of not happy how that one played out. Yeah, no, he was just like, were you serious? Yeah, no, Peach, Peach is out here to play. She's super strong. It's interesting that he went for the tote there. Mm -hmm. um, the counter option. Oof. Yeah, she has such good drift. Yeah. Didn't even drift until the last second when the forward smash was kind of run its course. Like it didn't look like she should grab the ledge, but she does anyways. Yeah. No tech? But yeah, pretty scary situation for Korean mm -hmm. too, because immediately that would have gotten the superior tech chase. Peach's recovery can be a little scary though, because you have to make sure you are B reversing, or not B reversing, um, well, Routing. yeah, onto the stage, because she's one of those characters that can't grab the ledge unless it's in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, towards the stage. It's not like Captain Falcon where you could be, be you know, opposite. Yeah, characters like, like Mars, Shulk, mm -hmm. Falcon. Pretty much. That was a nice drop down real quick. Back throw, not going to kill. This is now pre- I was wow. pre-patch where things might have been a yeah. little bit different. Do you think that would have actually killed pre-patch? Uh, not really, but it would have had more knockback. A lot, yeah, for sure. Maybe if he was at like 120, 130, it would have taken it. Oh, yeah, tough trade. Difference. Korean still able to survive. It sends in a couple peak thunders there. Just to make sure he's able to come back to the stage and have Superior hold the shield. And he's bringing in such momentum he to is. him, too. 
Good forward air, but he's got to watch the landing. Good use of Thunder Jolt to make sure Superior is holding the shield. I like those plays. And, he's, and he gets that little bit of a truth back from the forward air just to make sure he's a little safe. I'm sorry, a little safe out of shield. Oh. Yeah, and another thing too is Pikachu uh, using Thunder Jolt, which personally, um, I think it's probably the best um, projectile in the game, yeah. along with like Nikita. Oh, but you can only kiss the crown as the superior has a little bit of a pop off that last one. Just can keep on throwing it out for free. Pikachu does not sustain damage. It's a great, great tool. But all right, yeah, Korean game face going in. It's game three here, and um, definitely thinking about what counter stage he's yeah. gonna choose. A little bit of loss in thought here. Really good mm -hmm. opportunity for him to just analyze himself. What did I do wrong? What did I did right? He got a lot of momentum here to make the comeback, but in the end of the day, Superior get that forward air when Korean was caught slipping, going for that get up option. Gonna go Fox says no more Pikachu. You know what? It's time to go my my tried and true. One of the characters that I main for a long time is going to be Fox versus Peach. What do you think about this matchup? Definitely something we do see quite often. It's it's kind of interesting because back in Smash 4, I would even tell you that it was in it was a little slightly in Fox's favor because mm -hmm. if Peach wants to be up in the air, you know Fox mm -hmm. is really good when you're when you Fox is really great when you're above him, mm -hmm. and that's kind of one thing you don't want to get Fox. But now in Ultimate, I kind of see Peach uh, a little bit more in the front runner against Fox. Oh, okay. I like that reflector. Um, using shine there but yeah no i was gonna say the same thing um it's very you know with his up tilt too his nair he has great aerials and uh up tilt can catch you too and she's just that floaty character that likes to float just right above your uh space and um yeah it, it's great but at the same time peach has a huge like tool set as well like her um drop down bear like you're seeing right there super mm -hmm. fast comes out crazy fast turnips as well she has a lot of more options she's a lot quicker not as laggy as she was in smash 4 as well oh, and the reflector able he goes for two dash attacks yeah really good opportunity to go for the tech wow. and he finishes it off with the up smash superior with a little bit of a deep breath backwards he kind of felt the fury of korean here mm -hmm. oh yeah it's not messing around for sure but i mean Peach is one of those characters crazy has a really crazy killing potential too so she could take it on that any percent here pretty soon he's gonna you know 10 20 percent from being um in kill range mm -hmm. all right good uh nairs and aerials coming out from korean here as well stuff we like to see from fox good fox, fox. Yeah. loves starting off with that nair uh being the combo starter yeah dash tag as well also really good mm -hmm. carrying your opponents as well he's got dot face Kind of holds a little bit of respect here, but Korean off the stage, side B, not into the full corner, kind of holds himself back, tries to come with dash tech. I would have preferred if he had gone to the platform and find another way back center stage. Because there's a lot that Superior can take away here, but two walls, not going to be the moves that Korean might have been looking for. Alright, I like it. Kind of get a little bit of mid range here, goes for a little bit of the blasters. You know, it's play lame when the game, Superior's got to approach me, and if I can get these blasters to have them approach me, I'll do it. He's like, I can wait here all day. I yeah. can play patient. You can come in, come approach me. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Characters definitely. Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure I've said this earlier too. They want you to make the first mistake. They're going to capitalize off you throwing out the first attack or unsafe aerial. Yeah. And Superior slowly brought this back. I mean, Ooh. this is a, one of those things that happened last game. Oh my god! Oh, I missed the up smash. Mm -hmm. Would have been crucial there. Uh, Superior also pulled out a dot eyes there. I don't know if you saw it, but he yeah. kind of just threw it and wasted it, unfortunately. Definitely could have been uh, something to change the whole stock and the whole game here. Or to take that stock and change the whole game. Excuse me. Oh, oh man. man. Caught slipping going in for a couple aerials. Korean in a tough spot. Yeah, this is really close. That fair taking it out um, really early, too. This is a situation... Good. Okay. He punishes that board immediately as soon as he saw how unsafe it was. But he wasn't even spaced. Yeah, that's the whole thing. If you're being, uh, uh, like, if you're beneath Fox too, yeah, watch out for those up smashers. That is a dangerous, super powerful move as well. Yeah, and if you're not spacing out those four in the top call, Korean so close to tasting day two. Even if it is loser side, Superior still fighting for it. He's able to get a cross up. Ooh. He barely gets the roll oh my option God. from there. This is actually really intense, too. This is the last dog. Both yeah. of these players. Um, are going back and forth with these percentages, He's constantly changing. Yeah, good spacing, I like it, and he's able to come back for the whip punish. 
Dash attack. I like it. Try to capitalize the forward air, but I would have seen the up air a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I was play. thinking. I was thinking he was going to follow up with an upper after that, but he went for the fair. Uh, maybe he was trying to... Oh, that was so close, especially with side B. Mm -hmm. And you could see the superiors out there with the forward air. The one thing I do like that Korean is doing is every time he gets a cross up with dash attack, he merely just says, okay, I won this cross up. Let me just stay safe, especially yeah. if a little bit more spaced out. He's playing safer because he knows, too, that... Peach isn't a character to mess around with, and this yeah. is a super close situation. He's almost at kill percent again, um, and yeah, this is how you need to play. Sometimes oh, you gotta play a little lame, a little safer. Okay, that turn up could have really ended his career, yeah. And they're kind of forced him to go low, that's why we saw him go that extra low. Able to get around from the back airs. Here's the forward air. Oh he's man. Looking for, he's looking for the superior to make the landing, but the forward air. Oh. This is literally down to the wire. Can Korean clutch it out? At this point, he kind of wants Superior to either hold shield a little bit longer to be able to get a grab, or to get a or get a cross up like that. Mm -hmm. He's looking for it. Mm -hmm. Good back out of shield. He senses the uh, the actual jump out of shield. But we love to see these empty hops. Wow! Oh, and he's pop off. Pop off. Pop off. Korean here. Definitely Yo. lost it. Wow, that's emotions coming out here uh, yeah. from both players too. And um, man, that was a crazy. crazy